Hi there and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on how to conduct a one sample t-test in Stata. So in order to do that let's start by pulling up a data set that already is within Stata called auto and we type in web use auto to see that and let's enter edit and see what's in the data set. It turns out it's a record of different cars, different makes with their prices, miles per gallon, and a bunch of other information about them here. Let's say that we're interested in miles per gallon and we want to find out is the mean miles per gallon of all these cars greater than 20. How would we go about doing that? Well, in Stata it's a pretty simple code for one sample t-test. It's just t-test followed by the variable that you're testing, two equal signs put together, and then the value that you're testing for. So as you can see, we run the t-test and we get a couple of results here. The first thing really to look at are the p-values down here. Now if you recall, we said our hypothesis was that the mean is greater than 20. And we see here that the mean of 21.2973 is in fact significantly greater than 20 because our p-value is less than 0.05. Now, if our hypothesis had been, uh, is there a difference, uh, is, is it significantly different from 20, we would actually not be able to reject that null because the p-value is over 0 0.05. So that's a very important point when you are running a one sample t-test. Acceptance or rejection of the null hypothesis might end up depending on whether it's a two-tailed hypothesis as it is here versus a one-tailed hypothesis. So bear that in mind in your analysis. Um, one thing I'd like to show you is how to graph a box plot, which is a very useful thing to do when you're conducting a one-sample t-test. I want to show you the code again really quickly over here. Uh, it's graph, box, followed by the variable that you're testing. And then what this code over here does is it labels the outlier for you. And let me show you what that looks like. So here we found out that there is a make of car, specifically a Volkswagen diesel, that has a much higher miles per gallon than the rest of the cars in the sample. As you can imagine, that would be pretty useful information if you're looking to, uh, to buy a car based on uh, miles per gallon. Anyway, I hope this was useful to you. One sample t-test is a fairly common statistical procedure. It's uh, easy to carry out in Stata, and as you can see, you can generate a box plot and provide some visual support for the analysis. I encourage you to go to 272analytics.com for our other free tutorials, not just in Stata, but SPSS, R, and other programs as well. We are always here to help you with your data analysis and methodology needs for theses, dissertations, uh, any kind of academic paper, really. We're experts, and we can help you. Thanks for listening, and have a great day.